Fabulous Platinum Jubilee concert is of course over now, but there could have been one person that could have persuaded our gracious majesty the Queen to attend. But who is it? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of a very windy London today. I hope you're all keeping well. We're finally there nearly, you know. It's been going on a long time. And thank you also to those that say, Neil, you look a little bit tired. I am a little bit tired. But of course, you know, it's, uh, it's all about bringing you the news. It's like sharing it with friends. I do enjoy it, seriously. And I'm so glad that you enjoy what we're sharing with you, you know, because uh, it's nice to be here at a ringside event, you know, ringside seats. I will be telling you a lot more about what happens behind the scene soon because it is fascinating you know when you see all the TV crews and the other people setting up and actually more importantly the way that the world uh, reports on the British monarchy it's fabulous really because they really do like it you know forget what the mainstream media says all the naysayers we are popular and that's the you know the key factor that you learn about this job whatever they're telling you it's not true as ever we often tell you this on the show but back as ever to your other breaking royal story of the day Tristan is it with Her Majesty the Queen sadly she's had to put out of events due to mobility and you know not just not feeling pecker I mean you know we all have those days don't we you're like me I know we all have up and down days there's nothing wrong with it if you have a day where you want to put your feet up and just do nothing do it you know if you have days where you think I feel all right today I might get out a little bit even a little shopping trip it doesn't matter just get yourself out there if you can and don't beat yourself up if you can't look at what our majesty the queen is doing taking it steady that's the right thing to do but there could have been one person though that could have galvanized her back into action so I've been told as we know the platinum jubilee concert was a spectacular success major stars of course including the brilliant Dinah Ross uh, the likes of Queen and Brian May uh, I think they're a fabulous band Queen and you know when you, I don't know about you but when they say you know 50 years and you think really 50 of Queen uh, <laughs> you kind of think no can't be they're just rockers aren't they stuck in your mind forever brilliant you know one of the artists that she truly did want to see is a man who created a truly iconic role in the very heart of London's West End way back in 1986 87 it became the sensational smash that is Andrew Lloyd Webber's Phantom of the Opera and the one man that she loved as Phantom of the Opera was none other than the brilliant Michael Crawford CBE now Michael as you know is a brilliant artist singer actor extraordinaire and of course producer too and what I like about Michael is I've interviewed him many times he is as much fun off stage as he is on stage and I was lucky enough a couple of years ago uh, to do a one-to-one -one interview at the Victoria and Albert Museum where we were celebrating I can't exactly remember now what it was I think 30 or 35 years of Phantom of the Opera we had a fabulous night for those that were there I'm sure you'll remember it told so many stories we laughed so much and really you can understand why the Queen likes him he's a brilliant entertainer you know and and, uh, he told me some fabulous stories but we knew Her Majesty was a fan now, I believe that Michael would have been very keen to return I know he's partly based in New Zealand now wonderful place in the world but of course I think he would have returned if that offer had have come through I think even just to make a, an appearance and wave or introduce someone you know he's such a global megastar and I truly believe that the organizers of this missed an amazing trick because he's just so well loved you know when I was out and about with him even just walking through stage doors and on the street people simply adore Michael Crawford for many he was Frank Spencer in some of the two album for others of course he was uh, in the mega smash musical Hello Dolly with Barbara Streisand but he will forever be our brilliant very first Phantom of the Opera and as ever I would say that perhaps the Phantom could have lured Her Majesty to the Platinum Jubilee stage. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.